सो वेलकम टू ऑल गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन इन दिस लेक्चर नंबर एटीन ऑफ मॉड्यूल थ्री सो इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी टॉक्ड अबाउट डायमेंशंस रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ हारमोनियस सोसाइटी इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस डायमेंशन ऑफ एजुकेशन इन डिटेल सो बेसिकली वी विल टॉक अबाउट टू पार्ट्स वन इज द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ फुलफिलिंग लाइफ दैट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ हारमोनियस सोशल सिस्टम्स एंड देन वॉट वुड बी द प्रोसेस ऑफ एजुकेशन सो इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन कॉन्टेंट ऑफ एजुकेशन रिक्वायर्ड फॉर अ स्मूथ रनिंग ऑफ दिस सिस्टम लेट्स सी वॉट वुड बी द कॉन्टेंट ऑफ सच एजुकेशन so before discussing content of education the most important question is what is the goal of education what is the goal of education so primarily the goal of education is to ensure development of individuals so if we talk about goal of education we should have such kind of education that help us to develop the competence in individual when we are saying development it means holistic development development at the level of self development at the level of body development to ensure participation in larger order so basically the goal of education is to facilitate those processes those abilities in the individual which are essential for ensuring harmonious society and order because for a fulfilling life one must be equipped with all those abilities that are required to ensure harmonious society and education play a very important role to ensure such kind of understanding such feeling such attitude that's why one of the most important goals of education is to develop the competence of the individual to develop those abilities which are really required for a harmonious society so what are those ability those abilities are for example there is a need to have the right understanding right feeling right thought at the level of self so our education system help developing those kind of abilities similarly there is a need to keep the body healthy because healthy mind and healthy body is required for participation in the larger order so education system will help us to keep our body healthy education system will develop the competence so that i can keep my body healthy with healthy mind similarly there is need to develop the ability to right utilize the things right utilize of our mind right utilization of our body right utilization of physical facilities so for this a competence is required so if there is a competence i can right utilize our mind i can right utilize our body i can right utilize physical resources and education system should fulfill this goal also it is required to develop the competence so that the ability to behave and produce ability to participate in larger order can be ensured so for ensuring all these abilities education is required so this is the goal of education so goal of education is development of individual development of individual at the level of self at the level of body at the level of behavior at the level of participation so if one goes through such kind of education that help to develop all those ability required for a fulfilling life then that person naturally becomes an agent to participate in larger order so it will be natural if we go through such kind of education it will be natural for us to behave in a right manner it will be natural for us to participate in larger order 
if we go through such kind of education so mainly we will talk about two points one is about content of education and second is about process of such education so in this lecture we are basically going to talk about content of education so what contents in education are required to fulfill all those abilities that are required for a fulfilling life so what would be those content so these contents are briefly recognized as education for development of the self behavioral education health education education for right utilization education for production education for participation in the system education for special care so let's briefly talk about all these points so first is education for development it means mental education education for a healthy mind so which such kind of education there will be a clarity of our goals our program for a fulfilling life so this kind of education will be based on the natural acceptance will be based activities of the self in center so that a harmonious wisdom a harmonious visualization of the whole society can be ensured so one content may be mental education another content related to behavioral education so behavioral education is also required for right behavior for mutually fulfilling interaction with human being so if we include such kind of education that improves the ability in everyone so that one can become natural agent of mutually fulfilling communication so this kind of education is also required and it will help us to ensure a fulfilling life second is third one is health education so definitely this education is also required so that one can be aware about programs about processes to keep our body healthy so to keep our body healthy there is a requirement of skills what should i use to protect my body keeping rest of nature in harmony what should i eat to nurture my body keeping rest of the nature in harmony similarly there is also need to ensure right utilization of the body so for health education we can say health education should address all these points so that one can keep oneself's body healthy and one can also ensure one can also help others to ensure their body healthy so this kind of education is required related to health similarly education for right utilization so once i know myself once i am able to understand my body once i am able to understand physical resources then it is also required such kind of understanding is also required so that one can ensure right utilization of physical facility so basically the role of physical facility is to nurture protect of our body and physical facilities are also required for fulfilling social responsibilities so physical facility right utilization of physical facility is also an important part of an education so if we provide such kind of education then our generation will be able to ensure right utilization of physical resources so if one ensure right utilization of physical resources then physical resources are available for everyone in the society generation by generation so for a fulfilling life 
education that ensure right utilization of physical resources is also required in this education one can understand enrichment protection right utilization of nature so with healthy mind healthy body such kind of education is also required so there is a need to spread awareness how one can enrich their environment their natural resources how one can protect their natural resources how one can right utilize the natural resources so such kind of education is also required education for production so education for production of required physical facility through work with rest of nature is also required so such kind of education will help people to ensure ethical production so with production one will be able to ensure harmony with one will be able to ensure complementarity with the rest of nature with rest of three orders so that's why education for production is also required then education for participation in the system so understanding the human order learning and practicing the processes and skills required for the participation in the human system so all those learning practices technologies are required to ensure participation so this kind of education would help to ensure participation in larger order in the whole system similarly education for special care this education is also required so if somebody is with us with a special ability then this education will ensure a mutually fulfilling communication a mutually fulfillment with those kind of people too so all this education all these contents of education are required for a fulfilling life so hope you have understood the importance of the content of education which are required for a fulfilling life you can contemplate on these points you can also think of if there is another point to be included let's move towards next point so all this i have talked about about mental education about behavioral education health education keeping health in the center then education for right utilization education for production education for participation now we will talk about significance of current subjects there are many subjects which are being taught in schools colleges what would be the significant of those subject in the context of harmonious society in the context of fulfilling life in the context of ensuring harmonious social structures so what would be the significance of those subject with a holistic view that we will study in this slide so let's talk one by one so geography so if we talk about geography if we look at geography so geography is basically is useful in understanding the weather the climate so with the study of weather climate we can ensure what should be produced on the basis of land and direction and their local environment so this can be studied in geography so this can be studied in geography so basically a study of geography help us mainly related to production similarly history if we talk about history the main role of the history 
is seen in terms of getting inspiration from the past. So in history, there were many people, many, many people worked for harmony, worked for relationship. So we can uh, study history and we can take help, we can take guidance from all those people who worked in the past. So when we go to assess any human endeavor, then it becomes necessary to know its historical perspective to see how things have developed. So it is the role of history to help take inspiration from the right things of the past. And wherever there was a deficiency, improve upon it after studying it and reviewing it. So if there is a need to modify the previous study, we should be ready to modify it in the context of harmony. And we should feel gratitude what have, had been done in history to ensure a fulfilling life. So we can feel gratitude for all those people who worked in this direction. So by this way, history becomes purposeful. By this way, history, history becomes important for education. Let's see another is science. So science is basically to understand the laws of nature properly. So it helps in two ways. So it helps to maintain the cycle of nature and we can learn and understand different methods of production. So if we go through the laws of nature, we can see there is a cyclicity, we can see there is a mutual enrichment. All these laws, inherent laws, we can study through science. So there is a need to understand laws of science which are important when we interact with the rest of nature. So science basically help us to understand laws of nature. So with correct understanding of laws of nature and with right perspective, we can use those laws to ensure harmonious society, to ensure harmonious social structures. Next, if we talk about physics, so if we look at physics, it is helping in understanding happening taking place in nature. So there are many events like a storm, tornado, lightning in the clouds. All these understanding and their underlying principles are required to be known. So the phenomena that occurs physically are placed under physics. And the event that occur chemically, we placed under chemistry. So if you see broad difference between the two, it is clear itself from their name. So basically, what is chemistry? Chemistry is a study of chemicals, chemical events, chemical activities. And the methods of production of chemicals and juices, etc., which are useful for our life can be understood with the help of those chemical activities, physical activities. If we see about biology, so the main study, if we see the biology, we mainly study the physiology of the animal body and human body, which connects with health. So it comes under geology, medical science, related research, etc. So the study of the entire structure of the plant in botany is mainly related to production. So some will be related to production, some help to understand human body structures as many things are common with plants. So with the help of biology, we can study all content related to health. We can study animal's body. We can study physio physiology of animal and human body. All these can be done in under the biology. Similarly, botany. Or we can say, if we study all the physics and chemistry, 
if we study all the events we can study biology and botany too so we can study bio orders so with bio order we can study their activities their interrelationship with rest of nature all these can be done under this biology under this botany similarly philosophy and religion so based on universal religion philosophy and psychology we all will participate in larger order which will help in making the undivided society so this undivided society further needs different special branches to deal with societal orders so those would include political science management sociology economics technology etc these all will work in the sense of participation in societal order so if we talk about civic science so if we look civic science in a true sense it will be the code of living in a mutually fulfilling relationship so at present the existing education on civics is not worth living with relationships but it can be made worthwhile after a critical review so civic science may be helpful to study code and conduct for ensuring a harmonious environment around the society then if we see mathematics it shows that whatever calculations are to be done so for example if calculation to be done from one planet to another planet from one galaxy to another galaxy so this kind of calculation comes under mathematics so mathematics would be helpful in calculating those type of biggest distance then we study social science so in social science we can study all those phenomena which are required to ensure harmony in a society actually the social science may be extended in the form of history civics geography political science became the sub branch of civic and its further extended form gave birth to law so all this can be study in social science okay then psychology so we can see the placement of all current subject in this diagram so if we talk about b1 block then we can Uh, keep philosophy in this B1 block, and all other things related to psychology will be in B2 block. Next is infrastructure for the education. So it is important to pay attention what other additional components are needed for education. So for this, many infrastructure required so that education process can be ensured smoothly. so building may be required resources may be required resources of production are required where the child can learn and can do some productions along with under the guidance of the teachers so we can produce something so that the teacher requirements can be fulfilled so the whole time doing the same work so a proper infrastructure with the help of everyone can be ensured then what is the importance of tradition in education so two points mainly we can study in this we can learn from tradition number one whatever meaningful past generations have achieved whatever has been achieved through past generation they should be transferred to the next generation this we can study from our tradition and whatever remains is required to modify in this generation so in this sense tradition of education will be helpful so let's sum up the whole thing so we studied about the content of education 
so primary goal of education is to facilitate the process to develop all those job abilities which are required for a fulfilling life so we studied about behavior health utility production participation and special care education so with this view of holistic vision and human goal the significance of current subject we studied in this lecture similarly we studied important of tradition in education and then with the right understanding we can evaluate all our habit lifestyle etc so that's all from my side so let's meet in the next lecture thank you very much in next lecture we are going to study about the process of education thank you very much